Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to perform a leak down test on my high mileage BMW. As you can see, this car has 196,724 miles on it. For those of you that are unaware, I converted this car to run on Audi ignition coils. It's an 08 335i. It's about 200,000 miles on it right now. I've compression tested it and it had amazing compression for the mileage. It was about 180 across. Literally as good as you could hope for. And a few people commented asking me to do a leak down test to see the true health of this engine and how it held up. So that's what I'm doing now. I've removed my Audi ignition coil conversion kit. I will put a link in the description if you guys are interested in watching that video. I'm going to get these spark plugs removed now so we can get set up with our leak down tester. I'm happy to report that since installing these coils, the car has been running awesome. No misfires whatsoever as much as I try to push it. They've really been a game changer for this car running on ethanol. It's running at about E60. Very, very happy with that. I'd recommend it to anybody if you're considering coil upgrades, Audi coils. I'm gonna pull the radiator fan to get access to the crank bolt. All right, now we can grab ourselves a 22 and put it on the crank pulley to rotate the motor over. You can see this is coming up. It feels like it wants to go back down. So that should be top dead center for cylinder one. Here's a leak down tester I got. I'll put a link in the description if you guys are interested. This is about $80, but you can get it on sale for 64 and it's well rated. It's not a cheapy one. I had to use one of the adapters that came in the box. So you're supposed to do this on a cool engine. This is stone cold. It's been sitting for about a day. You want 100 PSI coming in. Okay, so as I ramp this gauge up, you want to see the other gauge respond. And you want to listen for any leaks coming out of your intake, exhaust, etc. But here we are, clocked in at 100, and I got. 98? I don't think you could ask for more. For a stone cold engine, I think that's as good as new. There's no funny noises. There's no air leaking. The only leak I have is around this fitting here because I don't have a perfect seal, but it doesn't matter. As long as after this gauge onward, uh, there's no leaks. So in my uh, compression test video, I said that it's kind of remarkable that I still have 180 across and the motor is as good as a brand new motor. They gave me some flack saying, well, yeah, that's all well and good. You can make the compression test look good. You can have that motor be hot and let it cool down exactly one hour with uh, a nice thick oil in there and all that, but then do a leak down test. It tells you everything. If you have, you know, an up to 20% loss is acceptable, but on a really healthy motor, you don't want more than 10% loss. So I, I wouldn't have wanted to go past 90 here to say that this motor is, you know, within new spec, but it's literally as, as if this was just assembled at the factory and just finished breaking in the way it came back on these results. Apologize for the glare, but there's cylinder two, as you can see, going into number two, coming in around the same, 98, 99, somewhere in that range.
right around the same 98. There you go, cylinder three now. Again, 99, 98. And we're on cylinder four now. This one's like 97 and a half, 98. Cylinder five. Last cylinder. Same story, 97, 98. There you go, cylinder six all the way at the back. So when I did my compression test, I made a big deal. I made a bit of a clickbaity title saying my engine is like new when I did my compression test because the numbers were so even and so high as if the car was brand new. This leak down test indicates that at, at top dead center, each piston is nearly perfect. It's like this motor was just assembled, it's in tolerance. So 197,000 miles and this motor is tight as a drum. So this motor has 197,000 miles on it and it's making power like it was made yesterday and just got finished breaking it after 197,000 miles. It doesn't burn a drop of oil and it pulls perfectly. It pulls hard and it runs so smooth that like you can't even tell it's running most of the time, especially after those Audi ignition coils. You don't feel anything in the seat. You'd almost have to wonder is the car still running? It's so smooth. This leak down test confirms that, as I suspected when I did my compression test, this engine is new. I'll get things put back together and then we'll conclude. I'm very, very happy. There you go, guys. Some pretty amazing results in my opinion. This 200,000 mile motor is like new. If you take care of your car, it'll last a long time. If this is the first video you're catching on mine, consider subscribing. I do upload regularly. Thanks for watching.